Alright, good evening. So tonight, uh, just checking out the CHC Ceramic Heating Core Hot End, uh, made by Triangle Labs. Come on. Alright. Uh, okay. Okay, so uh, looks like it's just a heating core with a silicone sock with the connectors and a lead wire going back to the printer that's probably for the thermistor and this one for the for the heater and it is attached with ferro which is good and another connector wire so I'm gonna need some more parts before I can put this on uh, we'll see oh look at that uh, I took this apart and uh, now the plastic just seep out the gap and this is what happens uh, when you tighten this uh, nozzle too tight and then strip the threading inside so that'll give it a last gap for the plastic to come out so I was able to heat up the hot end a little bit about 110 degrees and uh, extract this off the broken heat block this heat block is come oh still hot uh, completely done for so the heat throat and uh, there's the creality nozzle will fit just fine but uh, if you notice that the heat break now goes a little deeper so it's more really more suitable for the V6 style where the where the nozzle is a little longer, but uh, I think this will work. So I'm just gonna do a dry installation for now. Uh, this hot end is gonna hang on here. The thermistor is replaced right here, and the heat and the heater. Look at that fray connection. Aye, aye, aye. So ferro is ten times better, and it's connected. So let's turn this on and. Uh, See how it goes. Uh, don't forget to change your setup. Uh, on Clipper is ATC Simantec 104 NT. So under Clipper, uh, this sensor type has to change. All right, uh, we started Clipper. We connected um, auto print. So let's see what happens when I hit temperature change. I expect this thing to heat up now. Let's uh, take a look. Ooh, it's hot. All right, looks like it's going. All right, with no connection, it reaches uh, 180 degrees within less than half a minute. Awesome. So now I will have to we'll have to do some PID tuning. Maybe we we'll put this together so that we have the whole system. Then we can do PID tuning. Let's see what happens. Looks like this is going to fit nicely. Uh, but uh, the thing is that this heat throat now doesn't go all the way in so I can leave a little gap here I don't know uh, we'll see what happens so it took me some time to put this whole thing back together and uh, yeah, now I have to adjust the probe distance do the PID tuning and uh, yep so let's go move on oh oh this yeah I don't mind it uh, when it's done, uh, I'll put it back where it was supposed to be. Yep, so one of the downsides is that uh, the, this heater block feature this uh, wire that sticks out and it's not compatible with my duct setup. So I will have to uh, find a new duct or maybe try to bend it a little bit further in. But This is looking good. Uh, one string yeah, is okay. Uh, this, uh, <coughs> this is Protopasta HTPLA. 
and uh, comes out really nice.